<clears throat> I'm sorry to intrude, but your father would like a few moments with Mr. Pearl in the library. Don't look so worried. He already said yes. He's been known to change his mind. Well, it's too late. I already made up mine. Sit down, Charlie. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Cigar? No, thank you. Brandon? Not for me, thanks. Is it true, Charlie? You don't smoke or drink? Stains the teeth. That's what my father taught me. <laughs> it makes you look impressive. That's what my father taught me. No vices at all, Charlie? Oh, sure. All the ones that don't stay in the teeth. Well, you got nice teeth. <laughs> How would you characterize yourself, Charlie? As a playboy? I prefer the word sportsman. You don't give a good goddamn about impressing me, do you, Charlie? No, sir, I'm trying like hell to make a good impression on you, but you know everything about me. I spotted those two private detectives you've had tailing me for the last month. Sure, I play the horses, bet on football, baseball, anything that moves or rolls. I've been out with every starlet from Paramount to Warner Brothers, and I've had a dandy time doing it, too. But that was before I met Adele. Is it having $30 million that makes you so cocky? No, I don't think I'm cocky. A little stupid sometimes. No, I don't think you are. Fact is, I don't know what the hell you are. Why did you pick Adele? There's a thousand better looking women in this town. You could have by just snapping your finger. You know, I don't think you appreciate your own daughter's qualities, Mr. Horner. She's got style. She's got class. Adele is a thoroughbred, and that is something I know a little bit about. We're not trading horses here, Charlie. We're talking about my one and only daughter, Adele. Now, what is it you really want? To produce movies? Produce movies? No. I'd miss too many ball games. You talk about everything except hard work. Exactly how much schooling have you had? Well, I went to a few Harvard and Yale football games. Look, let's face it. I'm not ambitious. I don't have to. You know, my mother walked out on us when I was three years old. Never saw her again. So my old man gave me everything, except the mother I didn't have. I love that old guy. And I want to pay him back by settling down. My father made me rich. Now I want to make him happy. You're good, Charlie. You use charm. Like a deal, it uses a fresh deck. There isn't an ambitious writer, actor, or director out there who wouldn't sell his soul to marry Adele. But you present a problem to me because you're lazy and you're independent. How am I going to control you, Charlie? You can't. But Adele, she can make me do handstands. There are two things in this world that matter to me. My daughter and my studio. You hurt my studio and I kill you. You hurt my daughter and you'll pray for me to kill you. Don't give it a thought, sir. I'm not a praying. 